Hey guys, this is Morgan here. Welcome back to another tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to install ha a hack onto your 3DS which will allow you to do to do things with homebrew applications which allow you to do to apply things to your 3DS like being able to use emulators or custom themes stuff like that. And this hack is, is, is going to work with with certain versions of the firmware and it'll go it'll work through 10.6 through 11.0. You can see I have 11.0. So let's get into it. So first what you're going to do is you're going to want to move some files onto the SD card that you're going to be using on your 3DS. So first, there are two files that you will need to move, which is this 3DS folder and this uh, boot file. And the 3DS folder is going to have, it's going to be like a folder where you're going to store the, your programs that you can run with the Homebrew Launcher. So you're going to move it into your SD card. Just, I'm using my phone here because my, I can't, my computer doesn't really read SD cards anymore so I'm just using this so so before using the homebrew launcher your SD card is probably going going to have like two or three folders in it it's probably gonna have like a Nintendo 3DS folder a DCIM folder but it's just it's just I got so much stuff on here I didn't want to move it off just so I could show what it looks like but it's good probably gonna have like two or three folders on your SD card but you're just gonna move it, move those two, you're gonna move the folder and the file onto your SD card. So it should at least look like a Nintendo 3DS folder, DCIM folder, and then, you know, the 3D, the 3DS folder here, um, and then the, the boot folder right at the bottom. And then you're going to want to get back on your 3DS with the SD card. Okay, so once you have the three the the SD card in the 3DS, you're going to go to your browser. By the way, this is also a custom theme that I set up. Just go to your internet browser, and you're going to clear your cookies and your history. Uh, I forgot what this is. Okay. So just delete your history. Sorry about the dead pixels on the screen. Just sorry about that. By the way, I might, actually, I might also be making a video soon and replacing the screen. Too bad. Once you've got that, just uh, there's a URL you can be typing in. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have it in the description, and I might have a QR code. Just I can't scan it though because my cameras are broken. So it's going to be Y L. -O. I think I might just skip to it. Let me skip to it. Okay, so here's the so here's the uh, link right here. Again, this will be in the description. Okay, so go want to press confirm. Now, there's a number of things that could happen here. Sometimes this could have an error, but you will have these these the screen changing colors. There's a chance you could get an error. But yeah, okay, so you, you can see I'm having the right thing happen here. So, so yeah, this is what you're trying to ha have happen. But if you have an error, just try again. You should eventually get it. If you don't get it after like 10 times, you probably just want to check your files. Now, here are some programs that I already have. You, sh you should have some programs on here, like I know one you're probably going to have is uh, 
probably could have CHMM. I don't know if you can see that by the 10 pixels. Just at the bottom of the screen. You should probably have Doom on here already. So once you have Homebrew started up for the first time, you're going to start up an app called Menu Hacks Manager. Yeah, here it is. Menu Hacks Manager, just start that up. And I think you just press install. Then just press B, I think. Should do some loading. Now what this is gonna do, you just, uh, well, you just press A, press B, and press start. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it where you could start it up much faster so you don't have to be pointing in a URL each time. And what this is gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to just start it up by holding down power in the L button when you're just, you know, when you're just uh, powering it on, so. What you're gonna do is press start and press Press A. And it should just go to your home menu so you can just uh, turn this off and just test it. Just make sure it works. By the way. Okay. Let's just turn this off. Power off. Okay. So now. Sometimes what can happen when you're starting it up is it'll just it'll have like a fuzzy screen here and then it'll just stop a yellow screen here. If this happens, it, you just need to restart it. Sometimes this just happens when you like let go at a certain time or it just doesn't pick it up anymore. You just press just hold down power and and L. There is a certain time when you could just let go, but this time just just hold down L all the way. Yeah, I don't know why, it's, it's, yeah, so it just happened here, so. I don't know what my camera is doing here, it's, camera's acting a little weird. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I just accidentally, my phone didn't, my phone wasn't letting me record, so. So I'm gonna try starting it up again, because I think last time it just stopped the yellow screen. I'm holding it down. Okay, yeah. So once you see like all that text that, that flowing down, that you know it's working, so you can let go of the L button. So yeah, so now you could see you just got into the homebrew launcher without typing any URL or anything. So you, can, so yeah. So now the homebrew launcher itself is pretty much set up. So now, let's do some cool stuff. So, so, so now you're going to, to uh, you just have to take your SD card out again and put it into a computer or a phone. Okay, so now I'm going to show how to set up custom themes. So first you're just going to want to put your SD card on a phone or a computer. Just Make sure you have the file set up and just look for a folder called CHMM. It's um, a program that 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 is used to for custom well for custom themes. And just make sure you have the, all these files here and a themes folder. Themes folder and the themes folder, as you might have guessed, is where you put your themes and the themes the um there will be a link in the description for a website that that gives you themes and i think there's like probably like three thousand or so at the moment so yeah the, um for each theme there should be six files in there so so here i have some here and just make sure you have all that there and there's also um, just make sure that the boot fault that the boot file. Let me see here. 
uh, the, the boot file in the root folder, not the 3DS folder, but the boot folder, make sure that it that make sure it it's um it's 511.29 kilobytes because there's two different versions of the boot folder and there's only one that actually works and and I don't remember if um I think it I think if it's the 500 one then I think it'll it's the one that'll work with the things but I should have both of them on the in the description somewhere though but just make sure you have the files the way I showed and then go back on your 3DS. Now just start back up to your homebrew launcher and just uh, start up um, CHMM but just um, make sure that you start up the, the one without the number 2 in it or whichever one you you check the files for but, but you can't really see here with the dead pixels, but I'm pretty sure there's just one with the two and without a two, so I'm just gonna start that up. It's about the non-focus here. So here you can see you can, here you can see you can um, you can see a list of themes here. So I just have a Bruzel theme, and then Mega CD like the one I showed here, and then Naps to Bluke, and Team Mystic. So and Earlier, I had the Mega CD on earlier, so I'm just gonna pick this one just to just to show you that it's working. Oh wait, sorry. You press the um, just press start. And then I don't remember if it starts up to the home menu or the homebrew launcher. Actually, no. I think you just turn it off. Just turn it off. And then just turn it back on, but this time just don't hold on the the L button. Just 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 start it up to your home menu like normal. Sorry, I got an old 3DS, so it take it takes a little longer to start up. So here you go. You can see I'm. Here you can see I'm. I have a different theme. I don't have the Mega CD. I have the. At the Undertale theme, so so yeah. I hope uh, that's probably all I'm going to show in this video. I might show how I might show um, some other things in another video, but I think that's all I'm going to show in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, I also hope this will work for you too. And if it doesn't, if you had any problems, just Leave a comment down, and hope and I should reply pretty pretty soon.